Welcome back to video number 58. So in the last video we created a for each loop to better track our errors that we're going to come across when somebody doesn't fill in our form correctly. So in this video I want to go ahead and create another test that we're going to run because remember back on our localhost and PHP my admin when we created our menu field and we wanted to have a max uh, character of 30 characters or a max string of 30 characters. Well, our database knows that, MySQL knows that, but our create underscore info PHP page does not know that. So I'm going to go ahead and create another test with another variable and a for each loop that will solve the problem. So if somebody wants to type something right here that's more than 30 characters, this will bark this back without even talking to our server. So let's go ahead and create a new variable and drop down a couple lines and I'll just go ahead and call this fields with lengths. And again, this is an array and this is going to be an associative array. So it's going to have a key as well as a value and our our value is going to be 30 and our key is going to be nope menu equals greater than sign 30 and let's close out our statement right there okay now let's go ahead and create our for each nope is it hard to spell for each right now apparently it is okay fields what do we call this with lengths and we'll give it our we'll use our temporary variable up here called field name and let's go ahead and give it create a variable called I'll just call this like max length or yeah we'll just do max length and then let's go and execute our statement and what do we want to do and I'm gonna go ahead and put my closing brace right there just so I don't get lost and let's give it our if statement so if and I'm gonna use some PHP functions that have already been compiled so wait okay so if and I want to use the PHP function of string length as well as the PHP function uh, trim which trim is a cool PHP function because it uh, it strips the white space out of there so you can you can have a more accurate um, number of characters that you're going to have within a string. So, okay, so string length is going to let us know how long the string is in characters, and then trim is going to take out the white space. And then let's use our function that we created, mysql underscore prep, prep, that was dealing with our magic quotes. And then in here, let's go ahead and call our super global variable post because we are collecting values in a form and let's go ahead and use our temporary variable of field name and why does this look like one too many okay because our condition or our associative array is going to conclude in here and we're going to use our max length and then if this is true let's go ahead and execute Our variable of errors and it will know where to index them but we haven't caught an error yet so we're gonna leave that blank and we will set this equal to our original temporary variable of field name and let me look at this really quick I think this is correct okay fields underscore with errors arrays menu we set it to 30 okay for each set it as file with a key the value field name max length looks good and then we're using string string length strl strlen string length and then trim for the white space and then our mysql underscore prep that deals with our forward slash our backward slashes our single quotations and double quotations so we can deal with those as characters as well and did we spell field name correctly closing tag closing tag all right guys good luck with this hopefully this all made sense and now if we try to type in something longer than this, than 30 characters, it will shoot back. Well, it's not going to shoot back anything yet because we need to go ahead and run something. But 
we know how to search for it on both our database as well as our create underscore dot info dot php page. So good luck with this and I'll see you guys in the next video.